So by now you've probably seen the graph of the absolute value of x at some point. It just looks like a v, okay? And this is really your first introduction to what is called a piecewise function, okay? Because really what we're looking at are two line segments, okay? We know that the absolute value is the distance from x to zero. And distance is always positive. So the absolute value of x in essence just makes everything positive. So if x is positive, absolute value of x is just equal to x. If x is negative, it's the opposite, okay? And so really what we can do is we can define this function as two separate pieces, okay? What we can say is we can say f of x is equal to, we can say x if x is greater than or equal to zero, or negative x if x is less than zero, okay? And so we could change the equal to on either one of these because they're equal at zero. But basically what we've done is divided the absolute value of x into two different regions. The line x, if we're dealing with positive numbers, which will give us this portion over here, or negative x, if x is less than zero, which will give us this segment over here, okay? Really what we have is just some domain restrictions on our graph. We look at one graph if x is in one region, we look at another graph if x is in the other region, okay? So piecewise functions can t typically occur in as many regions as possible. Oftentimes we don't really deal with anything more than two or three, but in theory we could have a piecewise graph that has 20 different regions and it would still be acceptable. Okay, so really all we do is we graph the function in the region that is, respective region that is given.